one more person here. So I am Masha Haseem. I have completed my uh, M.Tech from SRM University Chennai. So this topic is my journey as an inventor. So from the time I was little girl, my dreams had always been markedly different from other children of my age. So it was a vision which had been nurtured by my father's bedtime stories about Wright Brothers and Edison. So those were the fascinating stories which impacted my childhood days. And my father always says that, take the path less traveled by and the whole world will follow you. So my first interest in my childhood days was painting. And for that I have received a prize from the district collector in those days. So then I was attracted towards dance, especially Bharatanatyam. So I learned the dance movement from TV programs and I became a popular kid in my uh, kindergarten school from a different dance type. <clears throat> and it was a proud moment for me when I received a prize from the hands of Mrs. Hands Lata Rajanikant for a dance performance when I was 6 years old. So during these days, my interest shifted towards science. So at my age of 9, I took part in the school science exhibition and won first prize for the burglar alarm system which I designed. So this encouraged me to attempt more and more projects in science. So when I was 12 years old, uh, the district level science exhibition was organized, organized at our school itself. And knowing my passion in science, my teachers motivated me to win a prize for our school at any cost. So I, uh, at that time I happened to read this newspaper report, in which the then railway minister, Mr. Dallupasad Yadav had warned that anyone throwing waste papers on the, or teacups on the railway track would be fined and penalized. So I read this newspaper report and that led me to think in the other way. So most of us have been traveling in Indian railways and the major problem that we see is that all uh, when the train stops in the station and when the passengers use the train toilet, all the train toilet wastages are directly dumped on the railway track and it's been so nasty. So I wanted to design a solution to avoid this kind of problem and that way I came up with this idea of high-tech train toilet or hygienic drainage disposal system in train. So what I have done in this system is that I have fitted a storage tank beneath the train toilet which will and uh, connected to a solenoid wall. It's just an open closed thread wall and which will be in full control with the engine driver in single switch. So when the train approaches the station, the engine driver will switch it off. So this wall will be closed and all the visitors will be stored on the storage tank. It will not be dumped in the station, uh, in, the, uh, in the track in the station. So when the train passes out of the station and goes on running, the engine driver will switch it on and it will be dumped on the outer track where there is no human habitat. And there is another proposal also. So in many metro cities there are underground drainage system. So in such cities the system can be connected through large pipe in the station under the track. So when the train stops in the station, the engine driver will switch it on. So all the wastages that are stored in the storage tank will be directly dumped on the drainage system which can be used as biogas and manure. So this is my idea and I participated, I exhibited uh, this device in the district level science exhibition and I got first prize in, uh, for, in that exhibition for this uh, model. So then I got selected for state level science exhibition at Coimbatore where I had not received even a consolation prize though my project was very much appreciated by both the public and media. So all the participants and teachers argued with the district CEO and they demanded justice for me and finally, my name was included in the uh, Southern Indian Science Fair. So I got first prize in that exhibition for the high-tech train toilet, uh, which is jointly organized by all the five southern states of India. So encouraged by this prize, I wrote a letter to Dr. Kalam, the then president of India, to allow me to make a demo of high-tech train toilet. So the president replied to me with his own signature, stating that he would like he would uh, meet me during his visit to Tamil Nadu. And I again replied to Dr. Kalam saying that I, I, I got appointment with the Railway Minister of States at New Delhi and uh, so it will be, uh, it'll be, I'll be, I'll be feeling very happy if I could get the appointment uh, to meet him at Rashtrapati Bhavan. So finally, after a long letter correspondence, finally I got the appointment to meet Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam sir at Rashtrapati Bhavan and I met, uh, I met him and demonstrated my device before the president. And on the same day, I also made a similar demo with the Railway Minister of States at Rail Bhavan New Delhi in the presence of all the uh, board members of uh, uh, Railway Department. So meeting with Dr. Kalam at Rashtrapati Bhavan 
was one of the best moment in my life and i am still perceiving the citation that was signed by him and i consider that this is one of the best award in my life than any other national and international awards that i have won so far so disappointment awaited me when i got back home my name was not included in the national level science exhibition citing the reason that i have not won any prize in the state level science exhibition at coimbatore so this duplication of the delhi trip was dampened but i never lost hope so as to the balance thing i received a letter from the then prime minister dr manmohan singh congratulating me for my young age achievement so this was a big boost for me in those dark days and in the meantime the chennai press club invited me to share my experience in meeting with dr apj abdul kala and in that meeting i expressed my inability to attend the national science exhibition so this news appeared all over the country mounted pressure and criticism on the education department so finally the genuine grievance of a school girl reached the raj bhavan so the next day the governor of tamil nadu has invited me to raj bhavan and he was very kind enough to hear my problems and on his intervention
So actually, my father is a government employee. He is working as assistant treasury officer, and my school is just opposite to my dad's office. So after my school gets over, I used to visit my dad's office and I used to wait for him. And around five o'clock to six o'clock, we used to affix a lock seal in the strong room where the valuable materials will be kept. So I have no, I have noticed the process of affixing lock seal at my dad's office. So all the officials will be depending on some particular pion to do this work with great caution because it's a very risky job. And one day the pion was on leave and my dad was about to affix it and see he got serious burn injuries in his skin. So this two incident, the paper report at the Velour uh, fire accident and the my fa and the burn injuries at my father's skin. So this both incident led me to design a solution for to avoid this kind of problem. So that way I came up with this idea of flameless seal maker. So it's a safe electrical uh, device. So we can affix seal without using the inflammable materials. Just we have to load the lock, give the electrical power supply. It gets heated, melted, and just by pressing the piston on the top, we can control the flow of the lock and we can affix seal. So in the traditional way, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to affix one particular seal. And we need to depend on a uh, trained person like you to do this work. Whereas using my device, we can affix 100 seals in 20 minutes. And even the uh, officials can uh, affix a confidential seal, uh, seal by themselves. And this device is a uh, virus free, fireborne free, smoke free, hassle free and hazard free device. So I received the national award Ignite 2009 for the seal maker from the hands of Dr. Kalam at IAM Ahmedabad. So that was the fourth meeting with Dr. Kalam and that Dr. Kalam himself affixed a seal using my flameless seal maker. So when I was taking my plus two exam, I faced another big problem. So I was invited to present my project of flameless seal maker at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. So but this day clashed with my plus two practical examination. So if I attended the project interview at IIC Bangalore, I would get extended from qualifying IIT JE exam and I would get direct admission one of the Indian Institute of Science Education Research. So both this test and both the uh, interview and the plus two practical examination was equally important for my academic career. And many advised me to just skip the interview and just to concentrate on the plus two practical examination. But I never lost hope. So I wanted to appear for both the exams uh, and the interview at any cost. So I wrote a letter to the uh, then Namaka district collector Mr. Sahai IAS with all the details of my achievement and prayed his help in this matter. So on his intervention, the practical exam for the whole school was rescheduled, enabling way for me to attend both the exam and the interview. So I did well in the interview and I became a KVP wise scholar and thus got extempted from qualifying IIT J exam and I got direct admission in Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Bhopal. So I consider this postponing a board practical exam for a single student as a great achievement of great recognition of merit and talent. So all the century old rigid rules became flexible before talent and merit in my case. So you may wonder that as many as 45 million seals were affixed all over India in 9 lakh polling station during the election process and knowing the usefulness of my device, Dr. Kuraishi, the then election commissioner of India had invited me to New Delhi. So there I made a 65 minutes presentation before the election commission in a board meeting. So in the following up, the election commission successfully tested my seal maker in two polling booths in the Kanyakuma district uh, during the Tamil Nadu assembly election. So this was the first time in India that a government seal was affixed without using the native flame and this was the first time that a school student idea was implemented by the mighty government. So now I would like to tell you another story about my eighth invention. So I visited Japan as a guest invitee of government of Japan during 2010 and I was just 15 years old then and I had to travel alone. So during this 10 days trip, I had uh, various trans transit journeys across uh, Japan in, in flight and uh, bullet trains. So at airports as I was traveling alone, I found very difficult to lift my luggage and to place it on the trolley or to place it on the conveyor belt. And I have seen many elderly people, women, children who are traveling alone in the airplane facing the similar problem. 
So here I got the idea of my 8th project mechanical porter. So unlike the ordinary luggage trolley, my mechanical porter can all do all the three works that the manual porter can do. It can lift, carry and place the luggage. So that's why I named it after mechanical porter. So here the platform of the mechanical porter is movable. So if at all if a bag is placed in this height, we can just uh, rotate the uh, pedal it and uh, bring it to the height and just drag or push the luggage. So the work done will be reduced. So now there are hydraulic trolleys available in markets which is very costly. Comparatively this is much, uh, much cheaper when compared to the uh, hydraulic luggage trolleys. So I got Ignite 2010 award again this time for the mechanical porter. So by this I again got a chance to meet Dr. A.P. Abdul Kalam for the sixth time and received the Ignite 2010 award from his golden hands. So Ignite 2010 was my last chance in Ignite as I completed my plus two at, at that time. So Ignite awards are intended only for school students of India. So however, Sri Anil Gupta, the executive chairman of National Innovation Foundation, which conducts this Ignite competition every year, announced me as a regional coordinator of NIF. So as such, I started visiting several schools and gave motivational speeches and mobilized more entries for Ignite and in due course, I also became a motivational speaker. And motivated by my speech, many students across India have requested me for guidance and support. And so I have opened a website and started helping them through online. So now I have assumed a new role as a technology educator. And because of my tireless work during 2013, two school students have won the prestigious National Award, Ignite Award, under my motivation and guidance. So I shared this happy news with the district collector of Kanyakumari and I also discussed with him the hurdles that are faced by the student community of India in exposing their talent beyond curriculum. So he encouraged me to start an innovation center to help the school students of India. So thereby I started at uh, Masha Innovation Center at Nagarkoil in Kanyakumari district. This is to, main aim is to inculcate the creativity and inventiveness among the school students of India. So this was inaugurated by the, district collect, the then district collector of uh, Kanyakumari on February 2014. So here I am proud to say that so far I have produced six national awardees in innovation through my innovation center. So here I would like to mention about Tata Jagirdi Yatra which helped me in setting up my innovation center. So during 2013 I was one among the 400 selected youths who performed this 15 days train journey across the India in the mission to develop entrepreneurship. So at the end of this trip, I turned myself from being a job seeker to a job creator as well as a social entrepreneur. And besides running my innovation center, now I'm conducting classes on creative science in some schools on payment basis. So I have framed a new syllabus which has no exams at all. It's completely practical oriented. And this was my novel idea of uh, <clears throat> a modern science class in, during my childhood days. So now I am going to extend this scheme to other schools in my district as well. So I am happy to say that I am entrepreneur myself even before completing my engineering studies. And here I would like to mention about my recent United States trip. So I got this part of setting up this business model from my recent two weeks entrepreneurial training at Google, Facebook, Autodesk headquarters at Silicon Valley, United States. So I was one among the eight part persons uh, selected from India uh, who undertook this entrepreneurial training at Silicon Valley. So we happened to meet several uh, entrepreneurs and we we met several uh, we went to several startups and learned how startup in US work. So in the last 10 years and so, even as a student, I have gone from strength to strength and now I would like to recall it and dedicate them at the feet of Dr. Kala. So getting direct admission in IIT institution, meeting Dr. Kalam six times, the rare opportunity of demonstrating my projects with two Indian presidents, four governors and five chief ministers including Modiji, getting my project implemented by the election commission and Indian railways, visited many countries and I have guided many school students across the country. So this was all made possible because I looked beyond the curriculum and beyond the campus. 
Even as a small kid, I started my activity first as an artist and then became a dancer. And then as a grown-up child, I turned myself as a project maker. And then I became an inventor. So, so far I have 12, 14 inventions to my credit. And uh, then I moved forward to the next level as a technology educator and project guide to several school students. So in due course, I also became a motivational speaker. So I have travelled about 1.5 lakh kilometer across the country and met level lakh students in the mission to popularise creative science among the school students of our country. And I am an entrepreneur myself now and I have given jobs to engineering students. So now I am standing before you proudly keeping my head high saying that I am a disciple of Dr. Kalam. Yes, I was just a seed sown by Dr. Kalam 10 years back when I met him first at Rashtrapati Bhavan. So this seed has become a small tree now and started providing inspiration for the next generation. And I am not alone, there are hundreds and thousands of uh, students who are working hard to realize Dr. Kalam's vision. So like every other Indians, I truly believe that Dr. Kalam has not been buried but song. Thank you. Now I would like to briefly tell about my innovation center activities. Initial fund of rupees 1 lakh donated by my grandmother and also from the Indian Overseas Bank. So these are the scientific activities that are carried out at my innovation center. Learning by doing concepts, scientific motivation, seminars, science fair projects, hands-on projects and the main aim is to prepare the school students to win national awards. So the first exhibition was inaugurated by the district collector and the second science exhibition was inaugurated by the SP of Kanyakumari. And Masha Innovation Center was selected as one among the official exhibition partner collaborated with NIT Trichy in conducting Pragyan 2015. And uh, these are the great persons who offered uh, support financially to this noble cause. And I am proud to say that so far six students have won the prestigious National Award through uh, my Innovation Center. And now I plan to start a maker space in Kanyakumari district. So Makerspace is actually a new popular concept that's, that's been followed in western countries and actually there will be a space with all the necessary infrastructures and uh, facilities, electrical, uh, mechanical components. So uh, students can come and work on their own ideas and they can build up their own prototype device. So that is the concept of this Makerspace and actually we got a space at Nagarkoil. Uh, Dr. Balasundaram joined his hands with Masha Innovation Center to support for this no noble cause and he provided an apartment to uh, to start this maker space in Kanyakumar district. So I am waiting for uh, more funds. So I will be collecting the funds and uh, by the end of 2016 we will be starting this maker space in uh, Kanyakumar district. And the third science exhibition is to be in inaugurated by the Kerala governor uh, in uh, July end. So these are the news coverages uh, about Masha Innovation Centre. So thank you. Can you tell us about your future plans? Yeah, uh, actually now I'm, uh, I, I have just completed my MTech from SRM University, so I'm planning to join as an assistant professor.